right. And we're live! Oh man. Welcome to Livestream Extreme. I'm your host, uh, Grant Lindahl. With me is my co host and sidekick, Lucas Mar Hello. Mireles. Lucas, how do you say your last name? I'm butchering it. Well, it's Mireles or Morellis. It just depends on what kind of tongue you got. Mireles. There, Grant. Right. Ah, Shade's got it. Lucas, tell us who our guest is. On our the guest today tonight. is the infamous Shane Moss. Welcome. Hey, Yay. how's it going, everybody? It's pronounced Moss. I have a trick you on. It's spelt incorrectly. It's actually my family pronounces it Moss, but it's a German name. And if you're in Germany, it's pronounced Mouse. So oh, Mouse. I'm no. me and my family are wrong in the way in which we pronounce our name. <laughs> and so you nailed it. Do you know, uh, Lucas, do you know the origin of your name? Like, do you know what it means? Um, uh, Mireles? Uh, no, I know my first name, Lucas. I think it's the light bearer or the light bringer, I believe is what it is. But uh, Mireles, I'm not are sure. Are you what it means. sure? Yeah, <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, I, I don't. I feel like that's like something that your grandma tells you your your name means, and then you find out. She would have told me like you, that. You know, Lucas means the trash taker outer fucker. That's what she. <laughs> and, and then you find out that Lucas just is, means Lucas. It's just yeah. simply a name. Because there's like there's something for, sh uh, yeah. I've seen I've seen fanciful explanations for what shane means but then it's always like god's special creature is what shane <laughs> and but but in reality it's just like some other country how they say Sh john or something like that <laughs> i have no idea what you're drawing right now and I'm doing but portrait, I, I don't like it uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is this is where you roast my artwork so in the chat just be super uh, mean please don't I, i'm very fragile <laughs> no i was i was being mean to my own beard and making a joke about how it's clearly me do you put um, anything in your beard like it, I, I try I, to I, throw some conditioner in there but uh, it, it's it's getting to a point where and maybe maybe Lucas, you can help me out a bit hmm. because this is my first beard. This is boy's first beard, <laughs> man's first beard. Man's now, first beard. <laughs> it's now <laughs> boy's first man. Um, and I so I started this at the start of COVID, and I had a feeling it was going to be. I didn't have a feeling. I talked with scientists. I knew it was going to be a while, and so I was just like, I want to come out of this thing just like. Like I've been living in the woods, mm. um, and and I'm pulling it off. But I've been. Here's a weird thing that happens. There's this guy. I was on his podcast. It's called called like Dream Beard or something like that. This dude had his own beard company and everything else. What? And All I right. was like, and then he's a big fan. He's like, man, your beard's amazing. You gotta keep that thing. He's just like a real hype man for my beard. And then, <laughs> and so one day, and he like gave me a few tips early on, like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe try this oil. He like sent me a few things. Yeah. And then one day, like we checked it. I forget if he called me or something like that. I was like, yeah, what do I, he's like, you got to watch out for this beard drop that eventually comes. Like it reaches a certain length. It'll start getting thinner or whatever. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and and i was like well what do i do about that and he's like oh you know what you gotta talk to my buddy next to me he'll tell you what to and i'm like how complicated are beards I, they just grow that, man it's like the uh, fucking trees like they just fucking come yeah. out of your face <laughs> how is it that you can have a beard company and be like i gotta sorry i gotta go get the supervisor on your beard. <laughs> we don't know uh, like dude, dude has grade. a a beard way bigger than my but anyway so yeah. i i throw conditioner in it no no special beard conditioner or anything i just have a huge bottle of conditioner so i remember like every time i wash my hands <laughs> mm. i just go through sometimes and i'm not sure that it helps but i just got through wisconsin winter which is dry as hell so now i'm looking all last summer um i was getting a lot of like robert redford kind of mm. references and now i get a lot of forest gump um, oh wow kind of situation going on so you know 
things are slowly deteriorating um, <laughs> along with my bank account and everything else. So it's perfect. And that's why you're on this. <laughs> yeah. Really? What's well, a big, yeah. beautiful red beard? I have to commend yeah, you. You, yes. you couldn't afford me before COVID. <laughs> nope. it, it, it did. I was like, I, the amount of people we can get to do this now. Uh, huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, you can now you can now get uh, uh, like Chappelle and Chris Rock together on this because oh easy no ones actually they are starting to tour again but oh um, I that's, I <laughs> that's pretty solid yeah you ain't bad oh right? my goodness it's legit man do you Put it do together. you what do you do do you throw all these away afterwards can I have that uh, that's of a course beautiful... you're gonna get it. But you have to put the link to this so people come oh. back. You don't oh. have to. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, I'm going to do that. That's awesome. That's yeah. a that's a very nice job. Yeah, just you wait until the, maybe the book cover. You know, well, shit's going to keep going. We're going to put that, you... That's, you really captured my eyes. You captured kind of like a the indifference kind of... A, like... <laughs> well, and, and that's not... You. It's not that I'm like not excited to do this show it's that i'm not excited ever <laughs> like just generally speaking you, but i it's a pleasure to be here you give me such a calm feeling when we chat like mm. also like i've literally had to stare at your face for like because like uh if people don't know oh, I, yeah. i'm the creator of tales from the trip uh i i animate all the episodes with two other people i direct it and i have spent probably like 200 hours staring at shane's face like that's drunk. incredible <laughs> at least it was the handsome version now it's just this disheveled i th you gotta think it, as an artist is the beard more fun to draw it's though so fun it, it's, it's so much more fun than the regular just like chiseled like oh i gotta look at this brad pitt face again I, well, like, um, I think your <laughs> hair changes but how it's lit in photos. So, like, in one episode, you're, like, blonde. And then another episode, you're, like, a brunette. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in red denial. Like, that, like the, the, you put the red on top there, and it's, like, you know, it's like a hair upsetting. Because it's not that you've done anything wrong. I think that you've probably captured what the actual color is. I just don't want to accept it. People always said, like, oh, it looks like you're a redhead. And I'm like, looks like you're crazy because I'm not. <laughs> and and then I started growing this beard. And then I was like, oh, my, I didn't know this could happen. And they're like, because you're a redhead. And I'm like, no, I'm red bearded. <laughs> I'm not redheaded. Why aren't and, you proud of your redheaded heritage? Why are you fighting it? I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I was born in 1980 where it was like, it wasn't good to be redheaded where I was. It was like, you know, it was a different thing and different was bad, generally speaking. Um, and so there was, like, you know, the redheaded stepchild is a common expression. It has some negative connotation. Can you still for, say for that these days as redheaded stepchild? Oh, I yeah, I don't know. Canceled? We'll see when I'm canceled. I'm I've been trying so hard. The thing is, is I don't. I wish I was canceled. I'd I'd make so much more money. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Those guys all clean up. Um, I that's my that's my style of comedian that I've always like gotten a kick out of. That I'm not at all is like the guy that gets on stage and is like. Buckle your seatbelt. You aren't gonna be able to handle this. Would you guys like a clean joke or a dirty joke? No, they don't have a clean joke, but they just know it was good. Yeah, well, the dirty one. And then they whip it out, and everyone's like, ugh. And they're like, will you ask for the dirty one? And then those those guys are the ones doing the like. Everyone's getting canceled, but they're actually just trying to get their patreon um going which by the way patreon.com slash shane moss and uh <laughs> um, slash canceled yeah <laughs> should, uh, man shane you're hilarious that's so good um let's uh do you do you guys uh do you guys want to play a game because we do games on this show uh we are a live stream 
kind of Pictionary-esque game show. We've got a couple games that <laughs> we are mixing up in the mix. Uh, uh, Lucas, do you want to tell yep. uh, our audience about our first game? Our first game is called Florida Man. Florida Man. So we're going to, um, what we're going to do is we've taken some dates. Uh, Shane, we took your birthday and we looked up Florida Man and your birthday. And we Ooh. don't do it. We, we did this ourselves. We did our own research and we found a headline of some fucking shenanigan that happened in Florida involving a man. On and my so, birthday. On your birthday. So uh, what... Um, that's beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna share it in the chat. Uh, I'm gonna share the chat here and on, on YouTube. Don't, don't we'll, look at the chat, Shane. Don't look at the chat. So the point is, is that uh, Grant's gonna start illustrating it, and then oh, you just okay. expound off of it, and then hopefully you can I'm, piece I'm together covering, what the headline is. I covered the YouTube chat. Excellent. Okay. All right, I can't cool. see anything. Uh, so, this, so, this, so this is like you get you get a um, with, with the book that your grandma gives you that tells you about how special your name is. You also get the thing yeah. that says like, on this year, Coca-Cola was five cents. And then, <laughs> actually, I'm not that old. And this year, a 12-pack of Coca-Cola. I don't know how much Coca-Cola's ever costed, is what's becoming more clear as I try to riff. <laughs> but um, so that's that's basically what we're doing here. Yeah. Just a demented version of that. Yeah, an awesome version of it. <laughs> But basically, Shane, um, you'll just go. It's like 20 questions, but it's like kind of infinite questions uh, until we give <laughs> up. But um, you'll go between me, Lucas, and the chat. And, uh, well, well, we'll dip into the chat randomly. Yeah. But uh, the chat, you can give clues to Shane on on uh, the guessing of it uh, to the best of your ability. Uh, yep. We're pretty loose. We don't really give shit. Um, yeah. but yeah, so you can just ask, um, was it, uh, like the crime you, you can ask one question each and we'll okay. just keep going back and forth and we'll answer it as I draw. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, right, let me double check to make sure I know which one we're doing. Oh yeah. I can send it to you right here. Look, watch. I just sent it out to the chat. There you go. Oh, uh, Grant, awesome. I'll send you, you the chat. Links now. Yep. So dope. Yeah, I know. This is like a whole fucking world now. Jeez. Shane, maybe I can make you a moderator on our personal, because we do a personal stream too. Yeah. Tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow night. We, we actually have um, an animator from the show Solar Opposites. Uh, so if you go to uh, Art School, it's either my name or Art School Acid on YouTube. We're going to be doing mm -hmm. a stream tomorrow also. Um, and we're also going to be doing the stream for Comedy Central every Thursday. Next week is uh, late night writer Tim Barnes, uh, and that'll be really fun. Uh, right. But yeah, let's see. Let me double check this. Um, you got Tim Barnes coming on? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Do you know Tim Barnes? Uh, I don't know him personally, but I think he's hilarious. He's amazing. Come on next week. You meet him. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll check it out. Dip in, Let's man. Say. That's not it, it, this. This is how you guys get an audience. You invite someone on and then you make them sign up for the subscription and like, all right, now you're an audience member from here on out. And I'm hooked. You know, you know, you're paying to do this show, right? We're, yeah, we're not paying. We're paying. Yeah. yeah, you're you're a subscriber Perfect. now. We take soul coin. That's what we take. Yep. <laughs> oh, I only have spoof bucks. Oh, Shoot. Damn. <laughs> spoof bucks. Damn it. Um, who, who is on the hundred dollar spoof buck? That's my question. It's a uh, penis with my face on it. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah. but, <laughs> so this is the Florida man that you're drawing. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna so draw. Is, is, it, is it a crime? It, 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 it Yeah. It was a crime. It it it, it was all crimes? a crime. Yeah, this is a crime, oh, definitely. They're all crimes. Okay. Yeah. So um, what basically just trying to guess what the headline really and amounted to. Uh, yeah. Was there a wildlife? Uh it doesn't seem as such. No. It does it, I, I don't believe so. Tangentially, yes, but not 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 really. Okay. There was a vehicle involved. Oh, yes. Wow, you got that fast. Yeah. <laughs> There, there is a vehicle involved. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, was it uh, Hearst? No. No. No Hearst. But you, you know what? I'll, I will say that Hearst can be this. That's just like just letting you know. Yeah, Hearst can be this. 
Interesting. <laughs> I guess in a way, Lucas yeah. is <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna disregard most of that. Um, what? Okay. Was it uh, male? Yeah, I think so. When we yeah. read the article, it said yeah. Yeah, male. Okay. Male involved. And, and it's just one male. It, it yeah. seems as such. Yeah, 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 just one male. It seems as such. <laughs> <laughs> it seems as such the Lucas Morales story. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a good one. I would say. Okay. Well, because you guys will tell me when the audience gives clues too. Yep. Right? Yeah. Audience, mm -hmm. feel if free to look. give some clues or or just kind of like some okay. insight. There was a there was a police involved. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was it a chase? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's a chase. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, was there alcohol involved? Ooh. Well, he was drinking water, but it probably turned to wine. So, <laughs> so in a way. Okay. Yeah. So there's a Jesus guy in a chase. Mm -hmm. with the police officer guy who thinks he's jesus being chased by a police officer uh -huh. i don't know if he thinks he's jesus no guy who looks like a guy who is jesus <laughs> colder <laughs> i mean in a way colder. we're all jesus <laughs> yeah that's true that's true he's everywhere and in our hearts <laughs> It's easy to forget sometimes. Oh, man. Um, this is going to be interesting notes on Monday from executives. <laughs> oh, would Comedy Central lose their edge? You can't make Jesus references well, during the <laughs> I mean, we can do whatever we want except draw the Prophet Muhammad. I was told not to do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, do you have other notes? Uh, from the uh, chat, we have... Uh, a yeah, what belief system involves a hearse is from the chat. My goth belief system. <laughs> oh, is it a goth thing? Hearses? I mean, I think it's just a funeral uh, thing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's just so the end of the line thing. Shit. So, it's, so it's a Christian thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a. This is a guy, who is who looks like jesus no he's going to church he could or he's be. coming yeah. from yeah church? these are all this is really good yeah he's going to or from church he is in something that could be a hearse there's some sort of jesus situation he's drinking water though he's <laughs> on top of what we got on from the chat? top of a, a car Oh, well, well, yeah, of kind, kind of. Yeah. Is he mm -hmm. surfing? It's a convertible. Ah, oh, oh, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's a secret fucking surfing. word. Yeah, surfing, car surfing. Very good. Oh, man, yeah. you're good at this. Yeah, you're getting it, man. <laughs> you have no frame of reference. Compared, you mean compared to the other guests that you've had do this, I'm doing I'm doing a nice job at it. Like, I mean, you're our like first. You're our first one, so. <laughs> yeah. so you don't know if I'm good or bad. It seems like you're good. I mean, you're, I, I, mean I had pretty low expectations for you. <laughs> okay, so there's a. Is it like a priest or something? You're getting close. Yeah, yeah. There's a priest car surfing. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yep, oh. Yep, is yep. it like a Pope mobile kind of situation? No, no, a little bit cold, no. but like, what is he doing? Uh, okay. Like, what would he be doing uh, if he was really uh, into like, Jesus? Like the um, crucifix thing, like the hanging his uh, head. Yeah, but what would that be a symbol of? Like, what would he be like? Why would uh, he be doing that? Uh, like, hallelujah. Ah, yeah, very, yeah. very good. Getting there, getting, getting closer. Do we got anything from the chat? Uh, let me check. Uh, Okay. It was it uh he's preaching from yeah, a car. Oh, oh, closer, closer. Closer, yeah, uh huh. From a car, preaching. Not Hallelujah. preaching. Hey, but... This doesn't look like he's wearing pants. 
<laughs> is he yeah, it wasn't us? clear for, it wasn't clear from the headline he was okay. wearing pants either all right all right all right i think he um, was but <laughs> as far as we know he's wearing pants Keep um pantsless. we'll assume he's wearing pants uh, somebody like in the in the chat they say this is also common in hip-hop culture just the what he's doing uh, but oh, i oh whip um riding the whip or whatever <laughs> what the, well, I mean, I wouldn't say he's not doing that. Whip, yeah, that's it's it's something riding the whip, but there's like a religious pun to it. Yeah, like if you're not preaching and you're receiving, like what are you doing? Should, should I hangman it? Should I put? Accept. The... Oh, you said ex you were you saying accept? Accept. Huh? Accepting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Almost there. Close. Uh, he's accepting. Think of hallelujah. Ones. Think of hallelujah. Uh... <laughs> You're so close, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's accepting <laughs> it, the, the Lord. He's accepting uh, yeah, the I, Lord. I think that's it, man. I think he got it, to be honest. I was going to say that he's Holy Ghost riding the whip. But <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. He, Holy uh, Ghost riding the whip. Yeah. Lucas, do you want to read the, the headline? Yeah. The headline was, and you got, you got it really in my book, Shane, is like yeah. Florida man arrested after praising the Lord while highway surfing his Cadillac. I said this, oh, the 70 year old wow. said he'd rather go to jail than go back home to his supposedly oh. demanding wife. I was going to say Cadillac, too. Yeah. So that's wait, why I was like, hearses can be Cadillacs, but they don't he, have to be. Wait, what? He'd rather go to jail than home to his wife? Yeah, his demanding that, wife. That's like a, this is 1980. That was like a real, I feel like that, that's, that was like the kind of, um, that's where like stand up comedy was at at that time. I think he was just trying to like ingratiate himself to the <laughs> officer with like, you know where I'm coming from, <laughs> right? And then the officer is like, yeah, I got one of those. <laughs> um, so what was, so he was car surfing, yep. accepting Jesus, or that was just his explanation for it. Praising the Lord, he said, well, highway surfing is Cadillac. So. Yep. So really, he was highway surfing his Cadillac, and then when he got pulled over, he just came up with that story. Or well, he's, he's there's a picture of him like, with his arms out, like praising God. That's what he's. That's what the here. Oh, here, I'll try goodness. to pull it. Let me try to pull so up this the is image. Definitely, this is like not a yeah. stable person. Yeah. Here, I can I can send it to you uh, in the chat here. Yeah. Shane, here. check it out. This actually happened in 2019, but it happened on your birthday. <laughs> Uh, oh, I thought it was. Yeah, I thought here, it was the yeah, not on your birthday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here's the guy That's right here. That's what threw me off. Ghost yeah, there he is. Riding, holy I, Ghost riding the whip. <laughs> I probably would have nailed it first try if I would have known it was 2019. <laughs> um, no, that's uh, yeah, amazing. that is amazing. That's I mean, that's faith. Like yeah. a lot of a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people go to church and pay lip service and like, you know, maybe throw a cross on or something and say they do things, but you're getting a lot of social value out. You're promoting your business and the community and shaking the hands and doing the meet and greet stuff. Not very many people are in the car surfing level of the faith system. I feel like, I feel like that's really solid commitment. Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, and also, I mean, you have to. He does. He does it with a Cadillac because it has such good steering, right? That yeah. Makes sense. My grandma. But it's hairpin, though. I mean, you've been in a. I mean, like, if you take a Cadillac, it's not like it's a boat. Like you. It feels you, like a. They're boat. nice cars. I'd they're be nice praising, cars. I'd be praising the Lord if I had a Cadillac. It, for yeah. Sure. It was probably he probably just got it and was just appreciating it. Yeah. I, especially yeah. 2019. Yeah. The 300 series had like a heating and cooling cup holders. Oh my god. Um, and so like if you have a coffee or whatever, it's too hot, you can cool it down and then set the heat on so it stays warm the whole time you're in there. Oh, wow. The first time he used that thing. He just jumped right up through that sunroof <laughs> and was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that was great. I like That's a hell of an endorsement. <laughs> I, I know, right? That's... <laughs> Brought to you by Cadillac, the, the praise of the Lord kind of highway surfing. It's it, If I was Cadillac, I would have had a picture of that dude on like every 
billboard in Florida. Well, I guess you can't encourage that behavior. Yeah. But I you're mean, happy you're happy that it gets out though, you know, on the interwebs. Yeah. Cuz he's also like he he's doing it right and uh if you think about it, it's got to be on cruise control as he's steering with his foot. I mean, he's straight up st standing on the fucking I, seat, right? I think, yeah, I think you hit cruise control. And I think, see, this is the thing, 2019. So you have that lane steering control, too. So ah. when you're on the highway, it's basically driving itself. This is just, yeah, you got you got your nice warm coffee. It's going to stay warm. Car, yeah. It's on cruise control. It stays in the lanes itself. And, I mean, you got to show people. You gotta show people gotta what you can do. Gospel. You're like, yeah, Cadillac, American ready. You're like, this is guy just fucking surfing this Cadillac down a Florida highway. I mean, it's it is a miracle. I I don't. <laughs> it I don't, is a miracle. I, That's great. I don't I don't see any of other God's creations um, riding a whip on a on a highway, no handed. <laughs> you. you You'll just, never they, see a dog do that. That's not true. You probably will. You will see a dog. You the chat says, let Jesus take the wheel. And that, that should be Cadillac's, Cadillac's uh, uh, our marketing. Let Jesus take the wheel. What? What's a branch? Oh, a branch. like a Floridian. Branch. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> I dig the branch that Floridian. Oh, I, I'm not a car expert. I just rent a, a lot of cars yep. on the road. What's that's the, what happens when you tour as a comedian. What's the worst car you've ever rented? Oh, well, it's always, what's like, what's the really crappy one they always give you? I haven't rented a car in like two years because I started going full time, like my own vehicle instead of flying into places. Uh, hmm. they, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of crap out there. It's always, <laughs> what's, yeah, I don't. If you I haven't had remember. a crappy one, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. kind of car are you driving? Well, you don't have to say if you want to avoid stalkers, but what kind of car are you driving right now? And what I is could the use a few there? stalkers. <laughs> right now, I'm low on stalkers. It's a, it's just a Highlander. I needed cool. something large enough to carry a bunch of merch around, mm. and so I needed an SUV. Do you have um, a merch site you want to plug? Or where people well, ShaneMoss.com, but um, I, I don't have any merch on there, but there's a bunch of other stuff to check out. You can go to Patreon. So those of you that saw me on my on my Tales from the Trip talking about DMT, so I, I did a 111-city tour called A Good Trip that was uh, um, a comedy-slash-science show about psychedelics. And... Um, and I was planning to make it a special and then COVID happened and things have changed and I've uh, taken my paths in different directions. Mm -hmm. So on patreon.com slash Shane Moss is the only ever recording of that show and it's in HD and oh, nice. everything. It was a part of my documentary, Psychonautics, a comics exploration of psychedelics. And also, if you're into psychedelics, I'm doing a Reddit AMA. My first ever Reddit AMA is tomorrow, all about my documentary film, Psychonautics, with all of the filmmakers at 4 p.m. So that's Moss Shane. There's all the pluggy stuff. Nice. Awesome. Um, for anybody stopping into the stream, uh, I'm mm -hmm. the creator of Tales from the Trip. My name's Grant Lindahl. Uh, this is my sidekick and co-host, Lucas uh, Mira, Mira. I'm fucking up your name. I get so <laughs> nervous that I'm going to say it wrong. Mir Mirales? Mir Mirales? Mirales. So I'm Lucas. Hi, Lucas. how are you? We got Lucas, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, and we're hanging out with Shane Moss, and we're playing some drawing games. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions about Tales from the Trip or any questions you want to ask Shane, uh, feel free. We literally have been stuck in our apartment, uh, going crazy and growing facial hair. That is what we've been doing. <laughs> I went crazy early and then got past it. Kinda and now I've been, out, right? the, yeah, I've been, pr I've been pretty chill since like July. Yeah. I think that's when we talked last was maybe July ish. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty I've been pretty ch I, I got my head straight by then and I've mm -hmm. been uh I've been uh, no. 
I'm just reading the comments. Yeah. Um, well, the people are asking if you're gonna if we're gonna do DMT. I do not have any DMT, unfortunately. You didn't do DMT yet? <clears throat> I do, but I can't. I'm not gonna do it on here, and I'm not gonna like. <laughs> It's a whole thing. Then I gotta. I don't know. It's for, for the Patreon, Shane. I, <laughs> yeah, that's that's more Patreon content. It, that's yes, sure. It's like five minutes of me drooling, but then and then I'm back. But then I, for the next for the next month, every day or so, when I'm walking around, I gotta stop and look around and be like, "Is this real? <laughs> is this real or was that real? Is this real or yeah. is that real? Is that real?" That real and uh do that for a while and i just don't have the space right now to just be sitting around thinking about what's real and what's not real <laughs> all of the time i got i got bullshit to do i yeah. got fake ass projects that i gotta do and i know um they're they're fake and i'm i'm in it um, uh, the chat said something about they heard a rumor you almost died something like that well, I OD'd on pain pills once. Um, oh, shit. Like 2017. Damn. Yeah, but it wasn't bad. Who's uh, spreading yeah. these rumors? That's what it I wasn't was. Bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, Five it, out was, of, <laughs> like, ten. it was super relaxing. That was the problem. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, actually if it wasn't for dmt i probably wouldn't have known that i was passing over to the other side because i was like oh wait a second so i was there i was like seeing a bunch of fractals and stuff and i was like yay i'm in dmt land again and then i was like huh wait a minute i haven't smoked dmt why am i visiting dmtville and then i was like oh uh -oh. oh i drank i had too many pain pills and mixed it with booze i real i was going through an injury at the time mm. um so yeah that was an interesting experience was your yeah. was your part-time girlfriend there the purple lady did she show up or no nope she wasn't there yeah i got a lot of got a lot of feelings about her i haven't seen her in a long time because i haven't I haven't even done DMT since filming my documentary, Psychonautics, Comics Exploration of Psychedelics. And that would have been 2017 that we filmed that scene. And before that, it was like almost nine months before that because I had a mm. really just things were getting real weird and creepy. Mm. And then... Yep. Yeah. And so I took a break and then I, and then I smoked it for the documentary and then mm. things got real bonkers again. And I lost my mind for a bit, bit. And I came back as very interesting experience. How much DMT is it? Like how much is it like with acid? It's like a, it's like a little drop, you know, or, you know, what is the ratio when it comes to DMT compared to like weed and things like that? Hmm. I don't know, like a gram of DMT, you should trip like, I don't know, five times or something like oh, that. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. But you, pretty, you shouldn't smoke easy. a gram of, of DMT in your, like, you well, know, when you, your dose. That isn't like a dose of DMT you would expect. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, you, you just won't be able to. No, you would, you can't, like, there's only so much DMT you can smoke before uh -huh. everything dissolves into nothingness. If you, if you can still, <laughs> if you can still hold that's, whatever that's so you're funny. smoking the DMT out of, you haven't smoked enough DMT yet. Like, that's <laughs> a real good indicator that you haven't had enough yet. I see. Yeah, just like in just like in your tales from the trip, where you were like, you got to get three out and then keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, at least really so well, great. Wow. I'm trying to think of like my favorite. Mo There's something about when you did your first, it was such a cool experience when you came in, like, honestly, I can't thank you enough. It was, it was like really cool when you came in to tell your first tale, like you were like the number one guy that I wanted, uh, um, for the show. And, uh, when you, when you came in and you talked about that, giant like orb or whatever that was like welcome so nice to oh, see oh yeah uh, it's like a whole city it, it was, was amazing an entire city oh it was a circuit city <laughs> it was like a city made of lights um uh. and 
it, it was like it was like a city made out of um computer chips that uh -huh. were made out of lights that wow moved about kind of like piecing together like clockwork and that's how it talked wow um yeah and i saw that world a few times but it was the most salient the first time i mean all these things it's hard to trust your memory but there was a few things that were reoccurring themes that would come up mm -hmm. i have so many ideas about what all those experiences are but basically my take is is that we all have those those worlds inside our minds all of the time and you're just seeing it's i think it's kind of like the movie inside out um mm. if if people have seen that i think that i think that it's it it's a little different than that but that's a good uh, uh rather than rather than like joy and sadness and anger or whatever like looking out the little girl's like eyes into the world watching what's going on instead they're just interacting with other um with, with other kind of neural uh mm. activity and so those those kind of beings in your mind those are those are just kind of representations of your your parents or like important people in your life or even just your neighbor or whatever so you smoke dmt you think you're seeing this god it's just like your neighbor rick um <laughs> it's just like how he's how he's represented in your mind but because it looks so different in mm. that space it's it's like if um it's like if you didn't know how computer codes, uh, like uh, computer programming or anything, and you're just used to, like you'd never even heard of computer programming, and you're just used to using like a nice intuitive tablet. And then one day someone shows you the codes that are underlying all of that. You'd be like, oh my God, I've been jerking off to ones and zeros this whole time. <laughs> and it's like that so it's it's just that's why it seems so foreign but mm. familiar at the same time and it, it's it's usually just your conscious experience is just the emergent kind of translation of those worlds that you see in the dmt space so i'm not of the belief that it's a you're going to a different um like parallel universe outside of your body i believe you're going to uh, multiverse inside of your own mind and the reason why some of the uh, people report the same things is because we have similar structures in mm. our minds we all have a similar we evolved to the same idea of what uh, um, what like the perfect woman or perfect guy looks like and um, and so so yeah, but people get real fired up when you say that. People like need it to be like gods or spirits or whatever else. They just will not accept that it. Can, and to me, it's way more interesting if it's that we all have a multiverse inside of our brains, driving all of our behavior and storing our memories and coming up with these very ideas that are coming up out of my mouth right now, because that's pretty significant to know. It's, it would be a breakthrough in neuroscience if it was the case. And it would mean that we could do things about it in this living existence that we get to experience rather than cross our fingers for getting to play around in a weird magic carnival uh, <laughs> afterward, after we die. Oh, man. I, I wish I could just animate this right now. We might yeah. just start doing that as a spinoff for comedy. Yeah, stuff. man, that's fucking <laughs> rad. That's beautiful, Shane. Like you really articulate kind of the the experience in, in such a really amazing and like personal way. Um, mm, do you like want to play another game, Shane? Oh okay. yeah, I love uh, it. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Um, let's do. Uh, <laughs> Someone just asked centaurs. <laughs> yes. Oh no! Centaurs. So yeah. so on our other stream. Uh, we, some of our friends from our other stream, uh, they were obsessed with centaurs one episode. And so we had to draw yeah. everything with centaurs. So you might end up as a centaur by the end of the That's stream. okay. Like, <laughs> I think, I think the beard really goes well with being a centaur. Man, I'm really digging the yeah. highlights I put on this. Have you seen, like, this is, this is popping a little bit. Uh, this is popping. Uh, this is it. real nice. I, I mean... 
having a little bit of fun with some color, a little pop of color over here. Um, okay, yeah, let's yeah. do a game. Definitely and, uh, around my the the pink around my face and around my beard and on my sleeves is perfect. Thanks, man. I nice. was thinking the purple lady, and I was thinking her aura, yeah. and mm, yeah, yeah. and just kind of like the the colors that you see. Because like the first time I ever did magic mushrooms, I drew a black line with a uh, sumi ink pen. And I watched a like rainbow colors follow that black line, and then mm -hmm. I watched it dry. Like I, I like heard it dry, like the the ink and the color and light dry, and it's changed the way I see colors forever. It's it's fucking crazy. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's play it, a game. It is <laughs> it, it, it for 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 an artist, man. Psychedelics, you will get to know colors. I mean, you probably also have various different forms of synesthesia. Like, if you're an artist and you trip, it's probably more of you've built those pathways toward to thinking about color quite a bit. Whereas if you spend much of your time um, learning about evolution and whatnot, you'll probably have completely other uh, takes when you when you do mushrooms and stuff, I imagine. But yeah, game time. <laughs> I mean, I could talk to you all day about connections between the <laughs> thalamus gland and everything, but that we'll do that for a follow-up stream. Uh, let, let's dive into some game, or one more game, and then we'll do the book cover, and we can talk more about... I think I feel thalamus. like we're starting to... Yeah, we're starting to shape our, our story for our book cover. Um, so this is one of our best games that we've done on our stream in the past. Um, for anybody tuning in, uh, I'm the creator of Tales from the Trip. Lucas is my co-host, and our guest is Shane Moss. Uh, we're playing some drawing games. Um, also, one thing I want to plug is uh, at ComedyCentralStore.com, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. We are selling Tales from the Trip t-shirts. This is the design that I made. Uh, get your t-shirt uh, while it's hot. Um, Lucas, can you put a link to that t-shirt? I did. Sick. Yes. They have um, been going, they'll be going about, yeah. Yeah, and so this is the t-shirt. Um, put it on your body, give it to your dad. I know my dad will not wear it, but I will still give one to him. <laughs> um, they should make underwear with this. This would be oh, great. Oh, man. We, we need to get on a phone call. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Shane, we're going to send you one of these for being a a great guest on That's amazing. the tale from the street. Yeah. Literally they like called me up and they're like, we need a t-shirt. And I was like, all right, I'll just make one. We got like the purple lady in there, put her in there and put, uh, yeah. you know, just some like crazy stuff, codes and stuff. I'm really into, um, butterflies. Oh, and... I just noticed the purple lady. Yeah. She's at the center <laughs> of the core of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, and if you can guess whose face this is, um, I will congratulate you on the stream. But <laughs> it is a famous person's face that I distorted. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble for it. But uh, if you can nah. guess, it's it's somebody. <laughs> is that who? Oh, uh, that's not Todd Glass. No, it's not oh, Todd wow. Glass. It's a pretty famous person. Okay, pretty famous. Is it? It's not the. It's not the guy from. Um... What was the the marketing show uh mad men it, um <laughs> ooh, wow closer yeah. but but uh not quite people um, think it's bob saget or john ham the, in the, the chat. bad guy on walking dead bad guy is oh, a key man. word maybe i don't know <laughs> bad guy it depends who you are um, oh man somebody's got something in the chat though uh, ooh, wow. Nixon, interesting. Nixon, uh, Stephen nope, Colbert. Not, not Tricky Dick. Um, nope. Depends on who you are. Yeah, yeah de depends on who you are. We're gonna, mm. we're gonna, if the chat can guess it, whoever guesses it. Yeah, they got it. it. The they have it, actually. Did they yeah, really? Yeah, Co Cosmic Kamikaze, uh, Ronald Reagan on acid. Oh, it is Ronald That's Reagan. That's it, on Ronald acid. Reagan. Good yeah. on you. Congrats, Ronald chat. Reagan. Oh, I Dude. love that. Put put an old uh, Ronnie up there, cause you know, just say <laughs> yes. no. Um, That's so wonderful. I love that. It's just a fun. Like I think somebody when I did it, they were like, "Is that who I think it is?" And I was like, 
Maybe. Maybe. I didn't say because they wouldn't print it. But now you can buy it at the Comedy Central store. That's uh, amazing. <laughs> I hope I don't lose my job, but I don't care. Let's, do it. <laughs> let's keep going. Um, all right. Uh, let's do all right. the. Uh, but yeah, Shane, we're going to send you one of those shirts um, and uh, get it at the Comedy Central store. Uh, and that way. I love that. Uh, we can keep making more Tales episodes and uh, keep you know, hire and chain to do more of these and start a psychedelic Ooh. revolution. <laughs> what, what revolution are we on? Are we on two? Are we on three? I don't know. <laughs> well, we were it's a multiverse two. resolution. That's what it is. But well, I mean, COVID's COVID's thrown a wrench into everything and it, it's probably a catalyst for more change faster. Mm-hmm. But then there's like the conspiracy side of things that, I think normally it would have, I had high hopes for things happening faster because of this. And mm-hmm. I still think it might, but then there's like the Q shaman stuff happened. So that's a pretty big black eye yeah. for the old psychedelic movement, even though psychedelics aren't to blame for that guy. That's like what people are going to picture. That's what a percentage of the, um, I mean, that's, that's, I'm sure that's what your average like Trump supporters like. Well, someone just was on drugs, and that's what happened there. Yeah, I feel like every time, like, I uh, pitch to studios now and I tell them about Tales from the Trip, they're either like, yes, or they're like, (sighs) and so it's like a 50-50 most of the time. And then Mm -hmm. they they, they all explain the book that they read about the history of drugs. Um, Which one? Michael Pollan's? (laughs) They they all have, like, yeah. Well, Michael Pollan's, but then there's, like, other ones that like i i was just on a call with a studio and they were telling me about how ayahuasca is really scary to them and they don't understand why anybody would want to do something that makes you throw up and i was like people drink so i don't know uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, ayahuasca is scary it's because you there. have to go to a place you don't know to take it and be shepherded like you, you know it's that's yeah that's that's the in, in, intense part of it have you ever done ayahuasca shane yeah, I have. Yeah, uh, would you do it? Did you do it here in the states, or did you do it yeah, down south? Yeah, I did it in Colorado. Oh, fucking a! Um, it's it's what sent. It was the one that sent me over the edge. Uh, oh wow! My documentary, but I don't totally blame ayahuasca for that. I was doing mushrooms like three times a week um, Jeez. for like three months straight or something like that. So, wow, you'll go manic eventually if you throw enough mushrooms on there and splash a little ayahuasca on top of that when you're at the peak of it jesus yeah like mixing beer and wine is like a thing but fucking mixing (laughs) mushrooms and ayahuasca that's another level man if you guys want to subscribe to my uh my door my postmates but it's ayahuasca uh just let me know it's it's a delivery service we send a shaman to your place oh my god forms the ceremony just a it's just a jug of ayahuasca then you just have at it on your own or, or just oh, man. an app that says your shaman is two minutes away <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay um all right, you ready right. to do police sketch let's do police sketch so all right um shane i'm a cop I, I don't think you know that, but I have been a cop for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm a police sketch artist. I specifically. Yeah. Uh, you That's know, how do... we met. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I was specifically doing sketches in the nude, but now Comedy Central makes me uh, put pants on. Uh, and so <laughs> uh, we're going to play a game called Police Sketch Artist where. You guys have a criminal assailant that the chat, you, and Lucas know. Uh, I'm actually going to go run to pee. Um, and uh, Lucas, can you share with the chat um, yes. the, our first uh, criminal? And then I'm going to pee. And so then, I look at it too? Yeah. but And so oh, yeah. I'm going to ask both of you questions on who this criminal is. Okay. And I'm okay. going to draw it and try to guess if I know who the criminal is. So I'm going to put the pee break sign on and then we'll be back in like five. Um, do you guys need to pee? Do you guys need a break? You want to take a break? Uh, you want to go to another, another beer? Yeah, I'm going to uh, grab another Shane? beer. I'm going to go pee. We will be back oh, okay. at uh, eight o'clock. 
and no. uh, we will be playing Police Sketch Artist, and then we're going to do a book cover uh, with that beautiful drawing I made of Shane. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, see you at all right, eight. be right back.
-hmm. Yeah, I could see that. I feel like uh, you definitely get to see the country, though, and, like, really experience, like, what America is, right? Really? Yeah. Um, what's the, the longest you road trip you've ever done? Like, 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 or distance, you know? Wow. I had us muted for a second. We're back. <laughs> yeah, we're God, back, everybody. I, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to have people hear me pee. And then <laughs> I was like trying to adjust stuff. But thank God, Greg, Greg, our producer, is texting Thanks, me and telling me where I'm fucking up. But thank <laughs> God, because we would have been muted for the rest of the show. I didn't yeah. even know well, we it were was back. I was sharing all of my secrets. Well, yeah. I was about to tell you, and you, I was like, well, I'll stop him if he like t starts confessing to that murder that he was mentioning earlier. <laughs> I. He's like oh, one no. murder. I mean, three murders on that way yeah, <laughs> on that twenty-one hour on. shot I took. Like, <laughs> we gotta make sure the audio is working before I confess to the murders. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I want people you, to hear. I mean, uh, right now, I don't know if it's the gr the best branding. I wanted to save the the announcement that you're you're the Zodiac Killer on the next Tales from the Trip, <laughs> but you know. I mean, I get. I, I, they they could tell from that last drawing that you made of me like they were like that's is that it's like that, that is son of the zodiac like yeah wow that's him that's son him all of right the zodiac yep um well cool hey, uh, uh shane can you see right? the 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 link i put in the zoom chat oh sure can you can you click it uh grant, uh, grant okay. don't look at it i won't look at the chat i'm not looking if you at click at it chat. it should take you to an image don't say it out loud because that's this is the criminal that yeah. we have to <laughs> very good so this is so we're gonna he's gonna ask us a bunch of questions back and forth and we're just gonna describe them like we were like me and grant were doing to you just a while ago so i'm gonna put it in the chat now uh again everybody in the chat we're playing police sketch uh grant's gonna you know uh me and shane have witnessed a crime um, I'm going to share a link in the, in the chat and you'll see the image and we're just going to describe to him and see how long it takes him to get it. All right. And yeah. we have a couple of these. So, um, here we go. I'm like trying like, to find uh... a photo of me as a cop from my cop days and I can't find it. I'm going to dig it up, but I'll show you that I was a police, uh, sketch artist, like professional, uh, Oh, is it here? It's somewhere right in these photos. I'm digging it up right now. Well, let me know if this is too much of a hint. But oh, I, I, wait, wait—he's gonna wait ask questions, you? and we just okay. answer the questions. That's all we. Yeah, just I ask the, the questions, questions here. Yeah. I'm he's the asking us. We're the witnesses. I'm the officer okay, okay, okay. here. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I can't find the one photo <laughs> of me. They, they have you ever been to the Creek in the Cave, Shane, in Queens? Yes. Yeah. So I actually used to design their T-shirts and like live there. Uh, that's actually where I started doing comedy, and, like back in like 2013. And I used I had a full police like uniform with like everything. I, mm. I like, bought off the internet and I used to go to the back room where people would be like smoking weed and stuff and show up as a cop and that's like amazing. smoke weed at people and freak people out. It was dumb. It was pretty dumb, but it, I would do like, uh, oh, there's me. I look more like a meter maid because I don't look like a cop ever. But here's a photo of me as a police sketch artist right there. Um, <laughs> and I would go, I would go to this club, comedy club, and I would show up That's as a cop, and I'd just like smoke weed and fuck around with people, and like hang if, and do comedy. <laughs> if you don't get caught for it, there's nothing wrong with it. That's yeah. how the rules work. Yeah. Because that is a pretty serious crime. Impersonating yeah, a yeah. it wasn't very smart. I mean, none of it was like 
authentic and i didn't didn't like pull people over i would just like hang out in the back room as a cop like smoking yeah <laughs> and, like, thought I you had... would take your laser pen and just like it's shining in people's eyes I'm like Woo, i'm pulling you over and shit so. no it was just like fun to like go in the back i i got it for a sketch show originally uh, and so then mm -hmm. i like showed up one night to to do like a sketch as a cop and uh like as a mm -hmm. police sketch artist and i would just go to the back room and yep. everybody go and then they would look really confused. It was either people would just be really confused why this meter maid is hanging out smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, yeah. So we're we're gonna describe. We we have we have seen the perpetrator, and we took a picture, and I shared that picture. Shane and I took of the perpetrator. Uh, now Grant, our police sketch artist, is gonna ask us a bunch of questions. We're gonna try to describe it to him as vaguely as possible. Okay. So. <laughs> Shane, are you ready? I am. Okay. Is it a man or a woman? It's a man man okay so we gotta get that that square jaw on there okay lucas um describe the nose of this assailant it's first it, off yeah it's <laughs> never mind yeah so uh, it's not <laughs> it's not clear there's a nose not clear it, it looks like there's an indention of a nose but it's not clear what it is okay <laughs> indention yeah. of a nose. um yeah. shane describe the mouth of this <laughs> criminal um jovial and a little creepy is it like long <laughs> like this like where it's like yeah. very like ear to ear yeah but <laughs> creepier creepier how so like uh you know like a chucky kind of a creepy Ooh, okay sinister almost sinister yeah, yeah. okay yeah. um lucas describe the eyes of this uh perpetrator uh they are cold um and yeah they are cold they look they look calculating in this moment so Calcul yeah cold and calculating are they big are they small yeah, yeah they're they're pretty big they're pretty big you see the iris you see the whites of the eyes um yeah there's there is definitely an expression going on um from the chat do we have any um clue chat Feel free to drop in some descriptors of this character um, to help me uh, apprehend this criminal. Um, well, I, I have one right here. He's white. He's white. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, there uh, you go. He's white. There. Now we played the race card already. Is, that, now, is it Caucasian or, or is it? Uh, they just said he's white. He's white. That's all okay, we can go okay. with right now. Um, yeah. uh, Shane, can you describe the hair of this uh, criminal? <laughs> he's bald. Bald. Okay. Um, is it shiny bald like this? Like yeah, a little, a little. Okay, I still don't understand the nose. Lucas, is the nose yeah. thin or is it no <sighs> nose? Like... The thins, the thin, the nose. Is there a point? It's not thin. It's not. It's not thin at all. It's. It seems pretty flat. It's... I'd say. I don't. See, I don't know if if it functions or if there is one. But yeah. No? Yeah, I, just... I would. I would go with a. It's more of a no nose situation. Yeah, no I think nose. so. I mean, there's an like I said, there's an impression, but it's not. Yeah, as Shane said, from my recollection, it feels as that's. Yeah, he. Okay. It's yeah. You're right. It's not there. Yeah. Um, Shane, does he have ears? What do the ears look like? No ears. No ears. Oh, that's a good clue. Anything uh, from the chat? Yeah, we got one. He's uh probably got high blood pressure. High high blood sugar. That's what it says. Blood sugar, white guy yeah, ball. It's a, yeah, that's yeah. Thank well, you. Mr. He is God. he is definitely like overweight. Mm. There you go. Okay, that's a hint. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take a stab at it. Uh, is it what? Actually, I want to ask one more question. Good. Uh, and this is for Shane. I'm I'm gonna ask Shane since he's our guest. Um, does this pervert? Um, is he wearing a hat of some kind? And if so, yeah, she is wearing a hat. Is it like a? It, would he have some kind of military service? Uh, are you talking uh, to me yeah. or Shane? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. I I think it's just. I think it's just uh, cosmetic. I don't think he served anywhere. Is it like? Oh this? no! It's a it's a uniform. It's like mm. a navy kind of. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I know who it is. Is it the Stay Puft Marshmallow? Fuck man? off, man! <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I'm see, gonna live forever. This is. Yeah, see, I, they, you it. know what? I never knew it was P 
P-U-F-T. Yeah, puffed. Yeah. Uh, check, uh, put it on chat. Uh, uh, I yeah, thought it was here, it stay up. puffed my whole life. Here, wait. Oh, uh, you should make one, one for one yourself. It's a stay puffed. situation. Well you, well, you do DMT. It just has this little hat to stay puffed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He does look sinister. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> so <there's> a, <laughs> that's how we got there. Oh, man. What tipped you off? Uh, the blood I sugar, I bet. Blood sugar, I bet. Blood yeah. sugar was the big thing. I, ah. I no ears helped a lot. The, I, one part, I so I started out thinking it was Voldemort, and then I thought it was Mr. Clean, uh -huh. and, and then the blood sugar. For some reason, I think about the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man a lot because I really <laughs> love the Ghostbusters movie, and so yeah. it, it clicked in my head really fast. Uh. I really want a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man pillow, like a, like a like a like a anatomically correct one, who's just like so you just like sit there and lean against the Stay Puff pillow, and he has and that mad mat, like he has this mad look on him, so he's just upset that you're doing this. Oh like, my god, these are horrifying! So I looked up Stay Puff Marshmallow Man pillows. I gotta show this to. I thought to you were gonna guys. say Stay Puff Marshmallow Man blue penis. <laughs> like, yeah, oh shit. well we were looking that up. Uh, Tony the Tiger. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> Tony the Tiger apparently has a blue tiger penis. Um, yeah, not in all of them, the fan arts, but in some. Oh but, my God. Oh what man. is this shit? Well, you're getting this for Christmas. Oh my God. Oh, well, I, are... I want him on his back. I don't want him like where he's like, he's like in <laughs> front of the fucking fireplace. Yeah. yeah, what is that? This oh, looks like he's going to burn in front so of the fireplace. Bad. Like it should change colors where he turns brown and next to heat. <laughs> So well, like that, when you're are, when you're laying on him, he turns brown. I mean, this like is he's some real him. like Etsy, uh, <laughs> like not this is not the trademarked okay, kind of that. thing. This this is like this yeah. is like a, a third graders project. Well, there's a toast. <laughs> Make one. a pillow. Oh, there's a toast. Yeah, there you go. Oh God. Well, uh, well all right. Man, you need that one. Jesus. Okay. Well. You all right. You ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm ready for the next one. All right, let's do the next one. All right, uh, uh, hit me with that. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Don't don't look, Grant. I, I keep thinking looking. you're gonna look. He thinks I cheat. He really I, does, and I, I don't because he, he knows cheats. I don't know how to read. So. <laughs> <laughs> so click on that. Tell me if if you if you if this works or not works. Okay. Does that work for you? Yeah. All right. Cool. We could we could do something else if that's not what you want. We could do something else if you want. No, no, I, that works for me. All right, here we go. Like, I'm gonna put it in the YouTube. All right, police sketch number two. All right, all right, numero dos. Before we start, um, if anybody's in the chat, we're playing police sketch artist. Uh, I'm a police sketch artist in this scenario, and uh, basically, uh, the link below. Uh, I'm gonna try to guess uh, what it is by drawing it and looking at it. Uh, so feel free to put some clues in the chat, descriptors mm -hmm. or whatnot. Uh, yeah, let's dive in. All right. All right. Starting with our guest of honor, Shane. Is it a man or a woman? It's a man. It's a man. Okay. Uh, Lucas, is this yeah. person fat or sk or skinny? I think he's. I think he's just right for himself. Would he yeah. sink a rowboat? I think he's asking. skinny. Skinny. You think he's skinny? I don't think he's skinny. I think he's just right for him. If he was skinny, he would look. Well, he doesn't look anyway. Um, yeah, he's. I th I say that he's medium I thin. Can, <laughs> I can't imagine any skinnier. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, you know what will be great? Uh, once once we can do this in person, there needs to be a way where you hide the screen so you can see the image while I draw it next to mm -hmm. it. We'll figure that out. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, Shane, uh, I'm going to mix it up. Uh, describe the torso region of this character. Like, what are they wearing? Without giving uh, it away too much. Well, it, uh, it's they aren't wearing anything. Yeah. They look like a front butt. A front butt. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, it's kind of. It is a little bit. Uh, I I don't know if sensual is the right word. Sensual. Is it? Uh, wait. I, I think I get it with sensual. It is provocative. It seems. Pro uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's showy. Ah, a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas, is, is this character 
ripped. Uh, Chad says this uh, barrel to- torso. Barrel, barrel torso. Yeah. Barrel. Yeah. Oh, and okay. yeah. Cool. Um, I'm not going to say what the other one person said. I think it's going to give it away. What's up? What were you going to say? <laughs> Don't look asking, at the chat. <laughs> I'm not looking at the chat. God damn. <laughs> he constantly thinks I cheat. Um, no, are, is the person ripped, Lucas? Uh, it doesn't look like he's ripped. Not sure I he's think ripped. he's probably ripped. Well, probably, he, and he doesn't apparently good, look ripped. Right, right. I so. think he's in good shape. Okay, good. Yeah, shape. I, I I take that. Yeah, he's in good shape. I don't he's know how much a, he works he's, out, but he's yeah. active though. Yeah, yeah, and I would say he's gifted he's in that area. He's definitely active. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah. Shane, describe the hair follicles of this. <laughs> Hor- her- this horrible criminal. Um, completely bald. Another baldy. Damn, yeah. Ba- theme. Well, you gotta watch out for the bald ones. You they really always. Do. Maybe always I'm attracted to the no bald good. situation. We have so much hair on our faces and shit. I think it's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that looks different to me. You mm-hmm. know? So. Man, yeah, this is probably the hairiest live stream we've ever done. <laughs> All of them. I know, right? Too. Yes. We did it. <laughs> the hairiest live stream. We're gonna get the Webby Award for hairiest live stream. Uh, um, okay, uh, whose turn is it? Is it Lucas? Uh, whoever, it? man, go okay. for it. Um, I'm actually gonna do Shane again. Um, Shane, uh, describe the eyes of this pervert. Um, I, I would say, um, really, just like enthusiastic, like. Bright eyed and bushy tailed, sort of. Yeah. Eyes. Do you have eyelashes? No. No. <laughs> Are their eyebrows like up? Can you do the expression yeah. of this criminal? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, man. Okay. Okay. And it's got like the. I, I mean, I'm just trying to do the eyes. You want oh, the you're whole just doing expression? The um, no, 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 no. Uh, Cause I don't want to give away the expression, so yeah. I just did the eyes. That yeah. I think that was perfect. Those eyes were were very very uh, accurate. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lucas, um, yeah. uh, d- does this character have like facial hair at all? Uh, no, it doesn't no. have any facial hair. No, no hair. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, no hair. That's a good. That's a good thing to say. No, no. Hair. D- does not seem to be any hair anywhere. Definitely oh, no hair. Weird. Yeah. He's like a barrel chested baldy weird mm-hmm. um uh shane describe the nipples of this character um i i don't think no nipples. um we have any nipples but yeah. i'm i'm uh i lost my um where where is my thing <laughs> i lost Wait, my window it's... like i put it i put it somewhere <laughs> on my Oh, that's what, what do we got from the chat, Luke? Right? Chet says uh, he's got a bad underbite with a wicked tongue. Bad underbite. What is it? Uh, so it's like. There's my window back. Like that. Like a. Uh, yeah, no nipples. With a yeah, no nipples. Yeah, bad underbite. Yeah. Uh, huh. Wicked tongue. Okay. Yeah. That's that's Chet. That's Chet. That's how Chet sees it. Huh. Um... Yeah, I get, I get that. I get that, Chet. <laughs> Oh, I think it, I think I think the potential for being wicked that tongue was like it could be pretty wicked. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah that's. True. Oh, it, I guess it, yeah, it definitely would be wicked. <laughs> Potentially, yeah. Yeah, at any wicked point tongue. in time. Yeah, you didn't put yeah. Voldemort in this like right after me. It's not Voldemort, is it? It's not Voldemort. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, we have to make a hangman function. So when you. Okay. We can. Yeah. No, in the future. Well, yeah. okay, yeah. So I think th- for the next stream, you need to give me the letters. Wait, how are we going to do the hangman? I don't so, know. So, we'll so the number of letters. So, yeah. okay, how about I get three full guesses? Yeah. And so uh-huh. that's one. That's one full guess. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, Shane, describe the nose <laughs> of this underbited Lothario. I wouldn't say there is a nose. No nose. Snap. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Shane, describe no. the ears. No ears. No ears. Like a snake underbite monster. Uh, is he is he snake like? Is he scaly? Uh, he's yeah. not a Pokemon, is he? Could no. be. 
<laughs> no, Does that count as one of my guesses? No. No, 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 no. It's not. No, no. Okay, he's okay. Not a Pokemon's not a, a guess. God damn. Uh, um, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, Lucas. Yeah. Man, I'm running out of things. Grant, 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 uh, Grant. What, describe the... Okay, this is a thing that I want to try, and if it gives it away too much, feel free not to answer, but describe the crime that he is committing in this particular scene. Oh. Like, or, or, like, looks like he's walking away from after... after. It looks like he's walking... or, or It looks like he's he's dancing away from from crashing after praising the Lord while surfing his Cadillac. Like it and literally feels like it, that. Yeah, it, it's uh, like he's happy he got away with something and yeah. he's making a real show of it. Yeah. For sure. And yeah. he's very happy about it. Very and, yeah. happy. And, uh, and our, our chat says he's classy and country at the same time. I, yeah, I, he's, 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 yeah, in a way, yeah. Is he yeah. wearing a hat? Shane, is he wearing he, a hat of some he kind? He sure is. Yeah, yep. he's Describe wearing a the top hat. hat. A top hat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is... mother effer. Lucas, is this Mr. Peanut? It is not Mr. Peanut. That's oh, two, fucker. That's damn. two down. Oh, man. He is a, he is a dandy, though. I ah, very That's, good. It's close. Dandy? Okay. But well, you're, you're right in the right area with that, with the Mr. Peanut situation. Okay. I'm going to open this up where you guys get to decide what clue you want to give okay. me. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, he has uh, big feet. Big feet, mm -hmm. like huge. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Bam. And um, he loves dancing. Like it's hard to, you you don't often see this guy not dancing. Be <laughs> on the lookout for this guy dancing. Yeah, it, and uh, yeah, yeah, and I could give you something that's probably will give it away, but I want you to know this: he is of the color green. Oh come on! Green? Yeah. It's not the Jolly Green Giant. He doesn't. It's wear not, it. fucker. You're. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't count. That doesn't. Count. <laughs> that doesn't count. No, don't count that. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. Because okay, when you said green, at first I thought it was the Incredible Hulk, and it's not it. Um, no, this green? guy's happy. Yep. Dancing really? away from crimes. Excited to be here. And everywhere. Yep. Oh man, this is tripping me out. Does he have a tail? No nope. tail. I would say no ish. Green. I guess. Bald. I'm looking at it and it's driving crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm, like there's the Jolly Green Giant, there's the Hulk. What else is green? This is in the American canon, Shane? Yep. For sure. Yeah. This is classic. Yeah. Classic yeah, that's a big Americana. that's a key word, sir. Classic. Oh man, is there any clues from the chat? This is driving me nuts. I feel uh, like oh, I feel really he's into musicals. Uh, um, yeah, he loves music. He loves dancing. He's a dandy. Yeah. Do you think uh, I would get this? How do you doodle hard. dandy? Uh, I mean, oh I my god, I know who it is. It's that what? frog. Fuck yeah. you! Yeah. <laughs> what does he sing? What does he sing, Grant? Oh, what does he sing? Baby, hello. Ah. <laughs> it's Michigan. It's Michigan. J Frog is his real name, but yeah, oh. I didn't baby know frog. that was his real name. That yeah. one. That was Michigan so J Frog hard. is his name. Well, uh, Grant, you absolutely crushed the Stay Puffed guy. I I thought you I thought you absolutely killed it, and you just. You know, the thing is, like, once you started drawing this, like, if you look at this, you were just too attached to that picture. <laughs> and then to see, yeah, here, to let see me, the let me frog. Give it to you. I got to, I got to, here, I'll show it to the, well, the chat's already seen it. Should, well, yeah, I'll, I'll can... hold it. I'll hold it up so you guys can see it next to it. But yeah, I mean, I got too confused with the buff. He's not, yeah, he is kind of buff. Yeah. He's not like, uh, yeah, I, he seems more delicate than he is. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. Do we want to do one more before we do the book, or should we do the book cover now? What yeah. How's Shane, how are you feeling? I feel good. You want to do one great. more? Yeah. Let's do I'm one real quick. Whatever. Huh? Yeah. We'll do uh, right. one more of these, and then uh, we'll do a little little book with Shane. Um. Okay. Uh. Feel free to put it in the chat. Man, that one tripped me up. 
All right, here, uh, Shane, take a look at this. Tell me what you think. That's Grant's Grant's two and zero oh tonight. You've only had like one yeah. you haven't gotten. You're so good at this, though. That one though was a bit of a gimme. Like that one, I was really screwed up on. I should have asked if it was human, and that's what I'm gonna keep. Yeah, doing right now. I felt like mm -hmm. I felt like you could have done better, but you crushed the stay puff yeah so don't be too hard on yourself yeah i think or, the best one i'm trying to think of what the crazy the, 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 you remember when you were drawing like the initial thing with the stay pop uh, like like the face of the cylinder i was almost like you got it <laughs> <laughs> i had a feeling like uh, for some reason in my mind every time we do this i always think it's mr peanut or mr clean those are the two that like pop into my mind. And then when Stay Puft happened, that one's close to my heart. Yeah. I feel like that's a good one. Someone said, if you lick them, you'll trip. That would have gave it away in a second, probably. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Shane, do you see the, the link in the chat? Yeah, I'm into it. I'm oh, into dude, it. Is, it, is it good? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's. All right, we're ready to go, Holmes. I'm gonna let me put it in the chat real quick. All right, this is Police Sketch Three again. We're playing. We're describing perpetrators for Grant. Yeah, um, if you're you're tuning in to the stream, uh, I'm a police sketch artist. I'm also the creator of Tales from the Trip, and we have my guest, the Honorable Shane Moss, and mm -hmm. uh, our prosecutor. Uh, Lucas Morales. Uh, I'm going to practice his last name. Morales. Right that's pretty. That's pretty interesting too. Yeah, you're 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 in between Morales and Mireles, so Mier you're almost there. Mier yeah. Morales. I I'm going to get it right because I really respect you, and you're really my only friend other than Vivian in Los Angeles. <laughs> 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 Tears. Um, but uh, yeah, okay. Let's dive in. We're gonna play some right. games. Ah. All right, let's do it. Uh, so there we go, guys. He's got a couple of guesses, and uh, we're just going to describe clues. Give him when you can. Okay. Shane, is this creature human? Um, nope. No. Okay. Lucas, is it a man or a woman? Uh, uh boy. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a man. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I, I could I could boy. go with you there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, my yeah. question is: Does the chat think it's a boy or a man? I need to know. So I'm gonna keep asking questions from them, but I need right. to know if it's a boy or a man. Uh, Shane, uh, is this boy man wearing a hat of some kind? And if so, describe it. Uh, no. No hat. No. Hmm. Lucas, describe yep. the hair of this uh, criminal. Um, it is a light sandy brown. Okay. And uh, it, it, it's like but, slightly tossed. Yeah, that's that's is it that's short? fair. Long. Uh, short? yeah, it's pretty short. Yeah. Was it Shane short, where it was like nineties? Mm. Shane will have to answer that question. Shane, was it like short, like when I Google your like Conan or like late night appearance? Shorter than that. Shorter mm. than that. Okay. Oh, the chat says a male species, and one person says it's a working man. I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess it's working. And someone says a little male. A little male. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a little bit male or a so, little male. Uh, so wait, my question is, if on the on the scale of uh, Forrest Gump, is it like buzz cut or is it like long? It's uh, buzz cut. It's like buzz cut. Yeah, if if it if it didn't always all the way take, I guess. But tossed is a good is a good idea. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna put that in there. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, Shane, describe the. Hmm, I'm trying to think what would give it. You gotta it, keep drawing, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, go I'm going. I'm going, bro. Um, <laughs> it, it, Shane's it, like cracking the whip and shit. Like, <laughs> man, we only got thirty minutes. If I could get to the shit, I'm just forcing okay, okay. them to. I, I, I'm just forcing them to rush ears and stuff. Look yeah. at that. Hurry up! I, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> you're, you're I just like, like watching it. people draw. No, it's all good. Um, you're improving the show. <laughs> uh, describe the eyes of this this criminal. Oh, a little cross-eyed, I guess. Uh, brown. Um, like pretty what? cute, but in my book, he's all man. But I could understand people. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, Lucas. Um, what what is this pervert wearing? He's wearing a. Um, it looks like a. So bear with me. It looks like a red onesie. <laughs> Um, a red short sleeve onesie, and then a it looks like a a tan a pullover. It's yeah. a it's like a red shirt and like a tan vest sort of a situation. Well, shirt isn't. I don't agree with the shirt because it does seems well, like it covers the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> I, right. It covers the bottom. I don't. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. not a. It doesn't seem like a it's vest. Funny because it I'm like... worried that's like giving too much away. Yeah, but I don't maybe think so. It's not. I, I no. feel my senses tingling. So red, red onesie and a tan vest. Yeah, we'll call well, the, it the vest a... is more like a. It, it, I think in terms of structure, a Kevlar vest, not not yeah. like a regular tuxedo vest or some shit like that. Okay, so Kevlar. What? motherfucking I don't think of kevlar but just think of structurally how it how it feel how it looks i mean it looks a little kevlar -y. yeah and to me it looks like it looks like he's done something really fucked up and he's about to he's walking to his next appointment like court date <laughs> you know the cops are there a little yeah i can see that but yeah and he's not say, I, I mean to me it looks as the more i look at it mm -hmm. this is like a dope outfit like this is a good look like i might go out and get something like this to wear around maybe not the onesie part but like the yeah. shirt and the vest that i He's love a cross-eyed onesie wearing like w does this photo you're looking at show his full body like uh, yes. yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. he's red with a tan onesie oh, is he, he did i ask if he was wearing a hat no, not this time no Shane, no Shane, hat. what kind of hat no hat no hat tossed hair okay um and he's human right Shane? i mean i mean that hair you like nailed the hair uh he's not human did yeah. you miss not that part human. yeah he's not he's not yeah. human we have we have some stuff in the chat okay. he has some stubby limbs stubby, Ooh, stubby limbs so we're helping you get there so it's like that's thinner good. like that like like limbs like this like Stubby yeah. Does he well, have hands? Yes. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. He, claws. Yeah. Looks like he's got. Yes, uh, it feels has, like mitts more paws. than hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has paws. Yes. Paws. Yeah. Paws. But he's human. No, we no, said no. No human. human. No human for the third time. Oh <laughs> god damn it! I'm sorry. I only have like. Shades keeping count. He's like fucking no. He's no, not I I, for, I forgot that you're an overly apologetic person and a sensitive boy, or I wouldn't have yelled at you like that. I was just spoofing. It's okay, but, Papa. Um, <laughs> but Papa but I. I uh yeah, it's definitely not a human. Not a human. But it I would say I think it's manly and I can see why people wouldn't agree with me. Okay. Uh interesting. Someone in the chat says that he's sitting. He's yeah. sitting. That, he's that, on his that may be helpful. Yeah. He's on his haunches. Okay, that gives yeah. something. Uh, but I got the hair right. Dang. Okay. The hair is oh. the hair the hair is the the top the top of the hair is perfect is he like the sphinx that's what i'm thinking yeah it's like the <laughs> sphinx like that like or like less casual more like a frog is he like uh, that? no i think you were no. closer before he's he's on his butt like legs out legs out on his butt yeah damn uh -huh. okay hmm i'm I also mean, yeah. like two beers in chain <laughs> um, like... let's see here so is he like excited like what's his face look like shane is he like stoked or is he pensive um i think he's pretty stoked i i, I mean it's subtle for sure okay um but i mean i feel like there's not a lot going on upstairs <laughs> um but he <laughs> seems happy for yeah. sure and um yeah he is like he's very affable i would say it's not the noid is it i don't no. even know what that no. is it's from the pizza it's from your generation oh you gotta avoid the noid was that domino's uh, i can't remember 
Yeah, mm-hmm. Domino's. Yeah. Uh, people in the chat say this might be giving some things away, but he, he's got a wet noise, probably. Wet nose, probably. Mm-hmm. Probably has a wet nose. Um, some stuff away. Yeah. Okay. Is it red? Come on. You got to ask about his personality. Okay. Okay. Shane, uh, describe where this character hangs out. <laughs> well, I, I think that. Um... I think that he probably maybe the reason why we're on the lookout for him. I could see him getting in trouble, uh, like creeping up, creeping up on a real cuddle fest. Yeah, he's fucking me threed. You know, like this, yeah, this guy seems yeah, like he yeah. could be all kinds he's, of shit. He's he's you you throw a cuddle party. This guy is slipping you know. his way right in there. No mm-hmm. one's invited him, but he shows up. And people don't say anything because they figure someone else invited them. Yeah, and he's very encouraging, I yeah, would say. Yeah, yeah. Very oh, encouraging. It's like a coach, kind of. <laughs> That's pretty good. Encouraging. This isn't, uh, is this a Disney property, Lucas? I, I it's actually so. not clear. I don't know if it is or not. I don't, I, I don't think so. Let's I, I don't believe so, but I couldn't tell okay. you for sure. He's encouraging. He's yeah. Tan and red. The tan and red is what's throwing me. I can't figure it out. Uh, yeah, I would forget about the clothes i don't think the clothes are gonna help no. you too much um because i wouldn't have remembered these clothes yeah okay. um i would say chunky cheeks if you wanted to redo uh, chunky oh, cheeks oh yeah that's definitely chunky cheeks so like cat like this character yeah. is a it's cat like, right well no uh, but uh, not you're, too far it, off but not, it's yeah. not a dog cat. it's not yeah. it's not no. the cookie crisp werewolf dog thing no uh, the 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 chat says he he has brothers i don't know about that shit but oh that's interesting Man, you picked really hard ones i can't figure this out I, what do you mean hard ones I, you knocked the other two out buddy uh, maybe <laughs> i'm just nervous because it's our first stream um hmm. I, I think that does he have um, a tail oh i don't know like dude. A, probably like a stubby yeah fluffy one probably fluffy. probably a fluffy like a stubbers rabbit? Maybe. No, but like soft, like one, I'd say. Okay, mm-hmm. is this? Does this character sell a product? <laughs> uh, sells himself. <laughs> himself, yeah. I was gonna say that too. He sells himself. He and, sells uh, himself. He's. I mean, really, he's all you need, if you ask me. The yeah. more I look at it, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, would you would you take DMT with this character? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I haven't ran into this guy in the DMT space. Um, they say he's a talkative guy in the chat. This it's is not pretty... Tigger, is it? No, but no. you're you're kind of getting in the same the sphere. Yeah, that's that's the that's like the era. Yeah, that's that's around the t- time frame. Oh, is this Yogi Bear? No. Ooh, very. Ooh, you're, close. Getting you're getting close. You're getting close. Keep on that. Warmer? Come on, keep going. He's, he's gonna get away if you don't find him, Grant. You don't want him in your dreams in a yeah, bad he's, way. He's gonna cut all other people if we don't yeah. sna- what? snap him up soon. So it's not Tigger, it's not Yogi Bear, and it's nope. some creep that cuddles you. Oh yeah. What oh, crime did he commit? That's the question I want to know. Uh, Jane, you want to take care of that one? <laughs> he, I mean, he looks ripped as fuck. A little cross-eyed dopey. Ripped? Cool. Did uh, he have a six try, pack? Trying to cuddle people. He has a six pack. Though? No, no. I mean, like high, high. Oh yeah, ripped. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. No, he's not. He's not muscular at all. Okay. He is. <laughs> out of, he, he, he's, he's not. He's not in shape. He's not. He's. No. I wouldn't call him obese or anything, but he's definitely not in shape. Mm-hmm. He's like soft. Soft he's, and cuddly. Yeah, yeah, and he looks stoned yeah. he looks stoned af yeah. and this Cross might give it away grant but so dopey. it's fine I'm this lost. might give it away but i think think this think friday nights at freddy's you know that or oh, five nights at freddy's do you know that it's, it's a video like game Chuck E. cheese character is it yeah, yeah but still think about that situation this is kind of close yeah it's getting it's in a close environment oh, man. i am but is it a? Is, was there? Is there an animatron animatronic of this character? I could see that, but yep. I, it doesn't. It doesn't really ring. It's not um, Disney property. 
I am so lost with this. Is there any oh. other clues? Like, I can't figure it out. Uh, he's fluffy. That's fluffy. that's something you, you think, I think you can. He was like educational. Yeah, I think he taught you things. Yeah, it's not I think he's a Teddy um, Ruxby. Ah, Teddy Ruxpin! <laughs> out of nowhere, with oh, the snap. save. Oh snap! He does wear that thing. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> that one uh, was hard. You, it was the that hair, one was the hard. Top. You did great. Oh, you did, man, that one you was did hard. so good. You want to show the show, show the before and uh, the yeah, side by side? Yeah, let me pull that up, and then we'll do the book cover. Good on you, Shane. That was that was great. It's always it's always a balance. Like, how much do you give away? How much do you keep him in the dark? <laughs> well, I, I kind of I was I was being jokey with <laughs> him being manly, <laughs> and that might have thrown you off. Because I wanted to have fun too, and I like the idea of calling Teddy Rockspin manly. I wish it would have been like a punk version, Teddy Rockspin. I wish they would have done something dumb as an like a spinoff. Yeah, yeah, would have been yeah. terrible. Probably, I'm here to rock. Is. Yeah. I'm <laughs> here to rock. <laughs> Teddy Scumbin or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to pee. Well, actually, we only have like 20 minutes left of the stream. Um, mm -hmm. I do have to pee. Do you guys mind holding down the chat for like two sure. minutes? Yeah, we can hold it down. And then yeah, we'll, take someone, questions for the we'll yeah, do the pee. book cover. And then, so I'm going to set up the book cover. Yeah. I want you, yeah. Shane, I'm Lucas, and things. the chat to start thinking of what the book cover uh, should be and like start building the narrative. And okay. then uh, I will come in and start doing my magic. Okay. Um, but I'm going to shrink you down and start thinking of the title of the book. Great. And uh, we'll get going. I'm going to pee real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So, so this, this book is like the title of the, of the, our episode that we just did. Correct. No, you can make whatever title you want because we're going to ask you what kind of, what kind of books you like to read. You know, like mm. you like, you like dramas, you like romance oh, novels, make, you like whatever. So like a storybook for me. Yeah, we're making a storybook starring you, and he's gonna pick the cover based on whatever narrative or things that are interesting that you like. Like it might have a Teddy uh, Ruxpin in it, or a uh, centaur, or whatever the fuck, you know. So okay, well, I had a question really quick. Uh, did you, yeah. when you saw your, I mean, it can't even really compare. Like when you saw your tales from the trip episode, how did you feel they captured the DMT? Like your experience in terms of animation i know it, it got oh, a, it really has to pay good. in comparison the, oh really good yeah the the first the first one was the first one was really good but the mm -hmm. second one was like really 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 fantastic i think they had a little more time with the second one because mm -hmm. i think the first one popped off more than they thought it would i think they're like what's <laughs> this dmt stuff we can't put this video out so they didn't a lot enough hours for them to make it like as good as it could have been but it was mm -hmm. it was good and then the second one was really really oh. nicely done um, oh great that's awesome uh grant you yeah. just got a big old compliment i asked i asked uh, shane if if uh the episodes the tales for the trip episodes captured what he kind of he he really experienced and he mm -hmm. said it did it really oh did. yeah oh really yeah. wow yep. very cool yeah, man yeah, yeah. uh yeah. i'm i'm a bit of a baby when it comes to the psychedelic world <laughs> but I've had my fair share of experiences, not not at the level of yours, but uh, it, it is a true pleasure to, to bring those to life. It, it yeah, is, man, those are it's fun to watch. It, it's a it's a wild odyssey. Um, if we do another one, I would love to jump on a call with you or something and just like do some sketches or something and really bring your vision truly to life. Um, happily, happily. Yeah, sick, man. Cool. Yeah, we can make that happen for sure. I have, I have a uh, endless DMT. It's funny because I remember that recording, and I told the like, story, and then I was like, "Hey, you guys want to just hear like another couple crazy stories just for kicks?" <laughs> we were really um, excited. And <laughs> and, <laughs> and then and then it's so crazy because the thing came out, and I was like, I didn't even. I don't even think that I watched the first one until it had been out for like a month or something like that. And people just kept on messaging me about it. And I was like, <laughs> I should watch this thing. 
<laughs> I was kind I of shy because like we weren't allowed to have you in the the room. We kind of like snuck you in, and somebody found out that you were going to come in and do it. And like, I I think we like were trying to navigate like back channels and stuff to just kind of like do this thing because I don't think anybody wanted us to do it. And yeah. then we did, and ne there's an audience for it, and I, I can't thank you enough. Like, it's been such but a But then fun... when, when the other one came out, like, two years later, or however long it was, I was like, oh, I forgot about that. It, <laughs> I, yeah, I oh, get man. blabbing about psychedelics. Yeah, I think we were, like, me. digging through stuff, and we're like, oh, yeah, Shane did another one. And I was like, ooh, this one's really good. <sighs> and, and I remember being on a call with, like, the other animators, and I was like, Shane is a precious gem. Do not like mess this up. Like take it. Like I'm very nice. I was like, it's just guys like take some time. I know sometimes we get stories that suck and we have to do it, but this one is really important. <laughs> like, and, like I got everybody pumped. Like everybody was on board. Everybody's like a big fan of yours on the team. Oh, and like it so was nice. like, it's so weird when we have um, animators come in and like artists come in to, to do the show. They, they always mention yours. Like anybody that comes into comedy central, and we're talking about the digital side. They always mention your stuff. Like, it, it, there's something there, man. One yeah, day, yeah. one day we'll do something bigger. But uh, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll put it together. Um, so we need a book cover yeah. all about me. So yeah, one, I only read science books. Yep. I've there never you. read any. I don't read fiction ever. I've read like five books of fiction in my entire life um and i read a lot about um evolution uh, okay. and perception and cognitive biases and so the title some, is scientific science is that what <laughs> it's, it's so yeah i think i so i don't read about consciousness I read science books and then it makes me think about, I intentionally avoid reading things about consciousness, like mm -hmm. in the woohoo kind of way of thinking about it. And I instead put my own ideas together about what consciousness is up to. I avoid mm -hmm. anything that's close to what I think is happening. Like, okay. like Carl Jung, for example, when I explain my ideas about like say the DMT space or consciousness, usually people are like oh that's very young yen and so i make sure to not read any of his stuff mm. so that i'm not influenced by it i see and because then it then i know like oh someone else thought the same thing and came to the same conclusion independent of me mm. so there might be something there if it's like a convergent kind of evolution so mm. i i don't know i just read a lot of like uh a, a lot of stuff about perception so mm. i don't know what my I, I have title. a weird I have a weird inkling that Shane, if you just released a book and I bought it, and I would be reading it and then somehow I would start feeling really funny and then I would realize that each page does have acid in it and has given more LSD and has now given me I, I'm now getting well, into a trip and it's and all the type is getting bigger. Like I feel like you're gonna yeah. give me a trip as I'm reading it. Well the whole the biggest ambition is to be able to do something similar with just words, to be able to yeah. take people into that space, to be able to build the connections mm -hmm. that psychedelics artificially make like quickly. I think that you can potentially get to the same spaces. I mean, that's probably not true, but you can kind of get to the same places just by going down the right paths in the mind. And so mm -hmm. if I write a book one day, it will be trying to get people into um, the those inner worlds that I've talked about. And I try it sometimes and it just takes a, it takes really long conversations mm -hmm. um, to get people into those spaces. So I like that though. You said, you said something, a really key word for me, the inner world. That's yeah. a really, I haven't really heard that. The only, whenever I think of, inner it's world like a multiverse actually oh yeah i see gotcha the multiverse yeah yeah it's because there's because it's 
there's a lot of so it's you you need to think about like where ideas are stored and what are they doing and why are memories stored in a certain way so you know how when you have like a shower thought and it's like this idea where you solved everything mm -hmm. you have a you have some idea and it's garbage like a month earlier you don't even think uh, you're like ah, i'm not gonna write that down who cares yeah. about that idea and then a month later you're in the shower and that same idea comes back tweaked ever so slightly and the context has changed and it's just it, perfect for you now mm. and so i spend a lot of time thinking about what was that idea up to where was it where was it where did, was it living and why did it change? It didn't just stay in a static state, mm. like stored somewhere in some memory bank in the mind. Like you think about a bank as like, oh, you put a thing in and then you get that same thing out. It's not a bank. It's more of like a simulator. So mm. it's going in and it's, it's running itself through a myriad of different scenarios, like, like a dream state. Mm. all of the time and then sometimes just the right things click into place and then it pops up into your conscious experience and so i spend a lot of time thinking about that because i make a living off of ideas so i need to think about how our ideas generated and why would a brain experience one idea over another mm. like we're all having like we all have a few things to say right now and then you choose to say one of the things and whatever that one thing you say i hear that and i've received that message but i don't have access to the other five things that you were thinking and there's a similar relationship between our consciousness and our subconscious so for every I single idea that you have every one of those shower thoughts that you had there's another like five or whatever however many just below your conscious awareness that it could have selected and so the reason why it delivered that one is because it had probably some utility in that moment or it was more interesting or more salient or more graphic or mm -hmm. just the timing was right. And uh, whereas if you do psychedelics, you kind of don't experience that same, your mm. the regulatory mechanisms for are inhibited that mm -hmm. are controlling experiencing one idea at a time and so you just get to see the whole factory you just get to oh, see wow. all of the more on dmt but you get a little bit of that on on mushrooms wow. and lsd is more outside to me it's like a it's like a bizarre kind of veneer like good for artists i can see but for me it's it's sort of a boring because you don't get to experience the inner space as much do you, do you do you feel like thoughts that like thoughts that, that emerge into consciousness are not unlike a like a fish jumping above the stream like okay that mm -hmm. fish decided to jump up because of what it needed to do at the time do you find yeah. that thoughts are their own their own sentient things that will emerge in your consciousness or do you feel like you your yeah. consciousness is controlling that oh i don't think that i'm controlling it that I much see. i right. i there there's like a little bit of a push and pull but it's like a simplified way of thinking about it is imagine imagine you misplace your wallet or something. Hmm. You don't your your conscious experience of trying to remember where that wallet is is not some perfect like hitting the rewind and seeing every single thing that you've seen in that moment since the last time you saw that wallet. Instead, you see these flashes of like a detective movie or something you see these little flashes mm -hmm. of um of clues to where like okay was i i was in my car what what pants was i wearing did i when was the last time i bought something you have these little flashes of memories and and they're serving a purpose to get you somewhere and that's kind of just what ideas are doing all of the time i see and but it, but it, they don't always have the utility in terms that you would think sometimes they're advertising just like i might be talking right now to um sound smarter than i actually am or something like that uh your subconscious is always bidding for your conscious awareness and bidding for your attention so the things that grab your attention are like 
really graphic things or very mm. funny things or something that's really unusual or contrasting or something violent or that's a threat stuff like that tends to get your attention more than things that are more true and so that's a lot of what i spend time thinking about well, that's amazing i have to read some uh sorry grant i gotta read some of these titles that we have we have some options from the uh from the chat we've been putting them out there yeah. uh little yeah. little multiverse on the prairie uh shifty shower thoughts by shane um lost and found this is a pretty good one lost in the moss that's pretty interesting oh. um, uh that's a pretty good lost in the moss um, I like that. yeah there's some interesting ones uh, what do you feel like your title is I like Lost in the Moss. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good for this. Do you feel like this is scientific or self-help or a little of both? How do you feel about this? Hmm. I think this is like an uh, adventure story, but uh, a journey into the mind. Grant, do you have a place where we can go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got like five <laughs> minutes left. Of do it. I was just like enjoying the the word jazz that Shane was laying down. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking awesome. Um, was a, I was like drawing yeah. like little mind clue question marks protruding mm -hmm. out of Shane's inner psyche next to the DNA of his chemistry to the right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, like what would be like the, I don't know. Just let, let Shane go with it. Like yeah. what, what's the narrative? Like what, what would the, where would your mind go in this, in this book, you know? Yeah, well, I, I think I think if you followed the journey of an idea, the first time you kind of um, bump into an idea, it's just kind of this like useless, annoying noob that like <laughs> doesn't really know his way around and stuff has just been born. Sometimes you get really excited or too excited or whatever, but but the ones that interest me the most are the ones that are bad ideas the first time you experience them not mm -hmm. worth thinking about not worth writing down and then a month later so they like go you experience them consciously and then they disappear like in into into the void never to be seen again just this degenerative idea that you have no use for and then whatever it experienced in the time that you you experienced it consciously to like a month later when you're in the shower and you experience it again, mm -hmm. whatever it did, it cleaned itself up, it got its act together, and then you're in the shower and it pops back into your consciousness, just wearing a top hat, having a cane, <laughs> doing a dance. Hello, my Hello, baby. My baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> and it's just the perfect uh idea and that is that how that happens and what ha like what was that idea up to in that time since the last time you saw it that's endlessly fascinating to me i i don't i don't fully understand i don't know how you'd get down to the bottom of it I have ideas about it, but it's, it, I think it's going through um, a multiverse of kind of simulated obstacle courses all of the time and refining itself and evolve. And I actually don't think it's the same idea that you had. I think it's cloning itself just like evolution works. And so there is a bunch of different clones <laughs> that, and some of them made it and some of it, some of them didn't. And then the, the perfect one that evolved and was changed ever so slightly but was selected for um huh. makes it makes it to the uh makes it back up to the surface oh my god we gotta movies. we gotta get alejandro yodorowsky on this situation because this sounds like an amazing <laughs> feature film feature animated film man this is i insane. have to say this was definitely the most complex book cover and honestly <laughs> I, I really hope that if you do come out with a book shane and you really should uh yeah. it should be called lost in the moss uh yeah lost <laughs> in the moss my mind i'll send you this i'll send you uh the the image just with you uh but man uh you're a truly <laughs> i feel like there's only few there, there's only a few truly unique individuals in this world probably like a million because there's like a billion people <laughs> in the world or like three billion or more than that there's billion, only you know, eight billion <laughs> 
<laughs> There's only one to ten million truly, truly unique. <laughs> <laughs> and you're one of them in the oh, scope of the, the world. You're only one of the tens of millions, oh, nice. yeah, of unique um, people. But I really think the the way you look at things um, touches my soul and is definitely part of the American canon uh, of the just, I don't know, the heart of how we think about things, how we, I, I wouldn't say like philosophize, but just the story of, of uh, I don't know where I'm going with it, but I, <laughs> maybe I'm rambling, but I, I truly think that like the stuff, like I, I, I'm not saying you're Mark Twain, but if you, if he did acid, it'd be something on that line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'll, and I'll, to add on that though, I would say like your, your reflection of humanity, uh, Shane is very uh, insightful. It's very uh, captivating, <laughs> insightful. And, you know, even though you wander, you meander a bit. It's it's uh, oh, va the bit? vagaries are fun, man. It's it's one like it's a great it's a it's a great ride, and it's supposed to be. So it, we yeah, really feel it, like it Mark thanks. Twain, like you said about going down the Mississippi River, makes me feel like like when you're talking, it feels like we're going in this. Anyway, oh, I, just I to say, love. Nice. Well, if you like that, you will definitely like my new podcast, Mind ah. Under Matter because yeah. what what the whole structure of the show is so i interview scientists ramin nazer interviews mystics mm. i look at all of his art that's usually like art about making art and then i come up with ideas about what i think is happening in the mind based on usually like sciencey ideas and then i talk about i put together a structure of a show like the stuff that i've been sharing is like where do ideas come from um and and uh, what are they doing when you're not consciously experiencing them and i'll put together a structure of things that i want to talk about and then i start blabbing and ramian uh like interrupts me in a bunch of funny ways and does impressions and stuff and gets me off course and then i <laughs> and then i bring it back through and we never ever finish a conversation and it just keeps on going and building on itself so check out mind under matter when's nice. uh, when's your next episode coming out every monday every monday yeah cool. yeah nice. yep. awesome yeah. and do we have so, a link for it in the chat can we put one in there can or? you put a, uh, a link in the chat chain yeah absolutely oh and also you're you have a patreon i, I remember yeah uh yeah and let's see while Shane is putting those plugs in, I'm going to remind all you cool kids, fans of Tales from the Trip, uh, at the Comedy Central uh, at the Comedy Central store. Uh, Lucas, can you pull up? Uh, I think it's ComedyCentralStore.com. Uh, it, mm -hmm. We have Tales from the Trip T-shirts. Uh, this is the design. Uh, mm -hmm go nuts please get one uh send us a pic um i am art school acid on instagram uh i will retweet it i am stoked for everybody that watches tales from trip we have a new episode featuring writer bet williams um coming out on wednesday uh she created a mushroom infused moonshine and tripped on that and uh the way she talks and everything is kind of amazing. Uh, her journey is really cool. It's kind of the, the one of the episodes I'm most excited for. Uh, so please check that out um, this coming Wednesday. Uh, do you know what date Wednesday is? I'm losing track of time. I forgot today was Thursday. Today Wednesday, is is, next Wednesday is the 21st. Yeah, of April. so Wednesday the 21st, please check out uh, Tales from the Trip, Bette Williams. Yeah. Uh, next week, we have uh, late night writer Tim Barnes. He's super funny. He's awesome. Uh, my cat's walking around. Uh, and Shane, anything else you want to plug? Um, peace and love for the world. Let's plug, let's plug, um, let's plug something more reasonable. Uh, Shane, send me your links. I'll post them in the chat. I, I know I don't think you could post links in in the in the YouTube. So send them to me oh. on the chat, and I'll post them out for you. I see. Is that yeah, sorry, they saying? they're not coming on because you're not a moderator on the on the channel. So, yeah, see. send them to me here, and I'll I'll post them so everybody can see them. 
Yeah, your... I mean, I really, I actually like really like Instagram. I I don't really like Twitter because I think it makes me an asshole. But if you want to see the mean side of me, um, you can go on Twitter. Um, and Patreon. The mean side. Which is me arguing with conspiracy theorists and stuff like that. Um, mindunderpod.com. Very good. And yeah, and and this is just we're this is just our second week of the new show, but yeah, we're we're we've been working on it for months, so we already have like three months of stuff planned out, and there's animation and all right, if anyone like in, that likes this that likes uh animation and drawing and comedy and philosophy and trippy shit all mixed together uh check out mindunderpod.com yeah get with it um i'm very <laughs> stoked to uh have you on and hopefully have you on for a future tales from the trip episode oh i um, hope so i, I mean I will quit if you weren't you're not on it because <laughs> like <laughs> you're you're like my favorite person to animate. Uh, oh. Like honestly, I I have had maybe like twelve different studio meetings trying to like pitch something like this, and like honestly, your name I push your name every single time, and <laughs> something's gonna give, man. It's gonna happen, and I'm gonna yeah. show up in a helicopter. In a beautiful suit and be like, Shane, take my we hand. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get weird, man. Uh, yeah. In a good way, I hope. In a helicopter. <laughs> well, I mean. He'll have Teddy Ruxpin in a baby carrier. Up, and fun. then it got weird in a bad way. The <laughs> helicopter was the helicopter. cool, but then it went. <laughs> we, we get a show, Shane. My dream is that yeah. we get a show. I show up. Like one of the Dumb and Dumber guys in a tuxedo yep. with Lucas, and uh, in and, and probably Greg too, and, and Mitch or who, whoever, and we show up yeah. and we're in tuxedos, just a bunch of men mm. in tuxedos. We put you yeah. in a helicopter, and then right. we crash, and we all have to survive on an island together, oh, knowing okay. that we were going to create a show, but uh, now we have to live our lives on this island. As yeah. yeah. Dudes. And you only get to bring a few things with you. You know, you're going to crash because you're crashing on purpose. That's the whole, pitch <laughs> that's of the, the show. whole point. Course, that's my plan this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's like, okay. So I don't need to bring metal and fire. Cause we'll have that. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel like we, we would have we would have crashed into a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Then the island is the dead body of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So we're eating Stay Puff. But we all get there. diabetes from Yeah, that. so that's the hard thing. Like mm. we have to deal with the diabetes aspect, the blood sugar part of it. You know, how do we make a fire? You know, or who do we do eat we first? Or do we use the marshmallow to attract animals? Yeah. That's like a whole thing. Yeah. It's a lot to think about for sure. It is. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm I'm betting on myself. I think I'm going to win the helicopter crash survivor um stay puffed marshmallow challenge show <laughs> i shane i appreciate your patience with all this that you're our first guest you're killing it um but yeah that, oh, you that's guys are our, great let's that, do it again yeah totally that's our show um thank you all for coming to the stream uh we'll be here next thursday at seven uh and our guest is tim barnes so uh get those shirts live follow your heart live the dream uh yeah thank you good night <laughs>